people, welcome back. I'm Nat at My Magic. Thank you for joining me again for another Freddie Mercury Kiln Unload. Bit sad today. Trace is not with us today. I had nobody here to hold the camera and ring her. She was going to come up tomorrow, so I was going to hold this off until tomorrow. But she caught the flu from her husband. <laughs> We're blaming him. So she's sick again, but an okay, well, not okay, I don't want her to be sick, but you know, not a bad sick, she'll be okay, she'll get better. Uh, so, couldn't wait, had to get into it, and the reason I'm so excited is because I have my first ever attempt at the frozen pond technique in here. I don't hold much hope because my running hot chowder was really thin, so I did... They say two coats, well I did three coats and it still looked really thin, but on the walls it was like running and you want circles, so I don't know, but we'll see. But what I was thinking was, you guys are almost like time travellers because you've already seen it in my thumbnail, <laughs> so you know even before I know whether I'm going to like it or not, because if I do, it's going to be my thumbnail. I also have a peacock, a big peacock bowl in here that I'm so excited to see as well. So hopefully one of those two will be the thumbnail. You guys know already, it might be something completely different. Oh, how weird is that? Uh, the, I only had one thing, one thing to say. Um, this is what I was saying ages ago about just having usernames on YouTube. So 79JRH, I'm so sorry, you didn't put your name. I'd love to know your name, so please comment. Uh, they said that with the, where the straws went in, uh, how the straw hit the side in my straw cups last time, how it didn't go down to the bottom. Well, they said to just get the little round Dremel piece, which I have, the di I have the diamond one, and Dremel it out so the straw fits in, but then Dremel it down on an angle so it would go down. And I thought, oh, what if I crack off the top bit? It worked brilliantly. So thank you so much. It was so quick. It took me about 20 seconds to do, sort of angled it down and went like that on the edge. And now my straws fit perfectly down to the bottom. So yay, so I'm able to now sell those. So thank you, thank you, thank you. I thought they were gonna be just fails. So that was a great tip. Um, I've had a sneaky peek, of course. The top shelf, it's okay. It's um, not what I expected, but it's okay. So let's get into it. So I'm going to need my gloves. It's hot because I'm being impatient. This one first. So I redid this again. I keep saying I'm not going to do it again, but I keep doing it again. Because remember I did this and I did the little sauce bowl, which is buried in the car. I couldn't get it out. Uh, and it's um, soft red and um, purple crystal dots. And then the bowl part of it had a crack in it. So I said, oh, well, I'll just give the little bowl away. And I thought, well, no, I'll do another one. I had this extra bowl, so I thought I'll do it. Not happy with it. It's, well, it's different. This is what I mean, I'm not sure. So the outside is what I expected. It's actually nicer. The purple's gone paler and actually like, that's the first time I've seen it and I like it. But inside, didn't run at all. But I think I must have missed a coat on the soft red kind of like the application it's almost sunsetty apricot pink but with the outside it looks so different so I might hit that with another coat because if I put a coat of soft red over the top that purple will go lighter like that so I might just put hot uh, soft red over the top of the whole thing and refire that outside is almost sort of moving it's sort of thickened so that might run off but that's okay because um, I can put it on my raised cookies and it'll be all right. Now, I did, I've gone back to doing some of my marbling. I haven't done it in ages and you guys know I love marbling. That's the turquoise and the white clay marbled. It's so pretty and I love it. It's very um, soft, pastel -y. You know I love pastels. So I do, I love it. Bum. Oh, I like bum. <laughs> Swirly. But wait until you see this one. I don't know why I've never done this before. <gasps> oh my gloriousness. Only because it's marbled, like the bowl's nothing to look at. But, you know, I love marbling. I don't know why I've never done the turquoise and the blue together before. How oceany beachy is that? And you know, I'm always looking for beachy looks. 
for this area. So I'm going to do a big bowl in that. One of my big V-shaped bowls because oh, love that. Maybe a noodle bowl set. Look at the bum. Oh, bit of a boring bum. <laughs> Almost looks like Australia with New Zealand off to the side. <laughs> no Tasmania. Sorry, Tassie. Oh, but that's gorgeous. I love that. I love the swirls in here. That's beautiful. I've done it, but I've done it with white in there as well. I never, I can't believe I've never just done the two together. I just adore that. I'm definitely going to do that again. That goes up the top. First one up the top. Now this one is the one I'm saying was not what I expected, but it's so pretty. Almost looks like amaryllis at the top, doesn't it? But all that is, is two honey flux, one river birch with uh, light flux over. So I'm getting a bit bored of the whole winter wood light flux. So I thought I'll give this a go. Thinking it would be the same, but just glossy instead of matte. Well, no, I don't know if you can see that. It's got a pinky blush, which I'm guessing is the honey flux. Has given it a bit of a pink blush. That's pretty. I don't know if you can, it almost looks like the flux blossom, which I know I didn't use. That's pretty, which is good because it means I can still do the winter wood light flux and they'll look different. The river birch hasn't run the crystals like the winter wood does either. So it looks quite different. Same, same, but different. <laughs> it's beautiful. So that's all I've seen. So the next, ow, yes, need my gloves. The next shelf uh, is another marbled bowl a big marbled bowl which I normally should put on the top and I did think when I was packing it I should but because it's big I kind of just wanted to fit it in oh no it's not oh it's not oh wow oh that gave me a shock because it's my um frozen pond one oh how exciting <laughs> Did I get your trace? <laughs> uh, that, oh, that's beautiful. It's power turquoise. Oh, that's gorgeous. What is that? Um, I think it's one of my chopstick bowls. Um, it is, uh, sure it's power turquoise with kimchi. Would that be right? Power turquoise. Mm. Sort of saying. Um, yeah. Okay, unless another one comes out because that's weird, but it's beautiful. I would have thought that that was Power Turquoise Light Flux, if this, except I knew I didn't do that. That's Power Turquoise with kimchi over, which is, I thought, pink. You know, I'm not very experienced with them yet. I mean, you can see the slightest line of pink where they meet. I don't know if you can see that in camera. That's beautiful. And you know, I mean, I love power turquoise. I didn't put it on the bottom because I wasn't sure about the kimchi because the sangria, not sangria, the um, kimchi uh, spectrum glazes can run like crazy. So I didn't want it. I wanted to raise it up. Didn't need to worry. Could have put it on one. Wow. Again, not what I was expecting at all but beautiful oh i absolutely love that so there should be a little matching um little sauce bowl further down oh my frozen pond bowl it's almost glorious <gasps> for a first attempt that's got to get a glorious oh my gloriousness wow that's beautiful. If you search the frozen pond technique on the Amico group, the lady that first initiated it about a year ago, her name is Kathy something, and I'm so sorry, I can't remember her surname. But it comes up all over the place. Everybody gives her credit, and I will when I put that up. Oh, wow. Look at it on the walls here. It's so close to what I wanted. I should have left more space 
between the dots, which I've seen other people say the same, they put their dots too close. But for a first attempt, that black patch there is a bit annoying to me, but <laughs> I'm being picky. That's beautiful. I love the cutouts on the rim. <gasps> wow, so what is it? So it is, and just obsidian on the back, so you know it's not gonna run off, and oh, I love obsidian, it's so beautiful. You think it's black, but it's actually deep blue, but it's beautiful. Um, so all it is, it's three obsidian, and every single person says to do three, whereas I always, oh, you know, do two obsidian because it eats color. Well, I did the three because everyone says that. So three obsidian, supposed to be two running hot chowder, the dots, but I did three because, as I say, it was so thin. Uh, three, run, three running hot chowder on mine, and then two iron luster over the whole thing, like the peacock technique. Two coats, and look at it. Oh, I'm definitely going to do that again. That's glorious. I saw one the other day, which was exactly the same, but instead of the iron luster, they did smoky Merlot, which was beautiful. And in the um, lines here, see how that's the brown from the iron luster? In amongst the circles well theirs was purple from the smoky mellow all over the top and it was beautiful too so I might try that next time but oh I can't stop looking at it I'm in love oh good so maybe it will be the thumbnail <laughs> uh won't put it up the top because all you'll see is obsidian so put it there oh I can't stop looking at it it's beautiful so that's that shelf done because that's so big so maybe I didn't put that marble bowl in maybe it's the next shelf we shall see. Oh, yes, it is. Okay. Mr. Bear's saying hello again. Oh, and one of Tracy's pieces. I forgot. Yay. So, what is this? Oh, I forgot this was in here. I did this for Sarah Walsh, and I hope you're watching, Sarah. She's, um, she did a mug. And she did, it wasn't this, but it was a, a pink, it might have been soft, I don't know, it was a pink. And then I think it was um, Cosmic Tea Dust, but she had the brown sparkles. And she said, oh, sparkles and pink, how beautiful. And of course, you know, I love pink and sparkles too. So she, straight into my head, I went, what about Black Adventure and with soft red over? So I did. Ah, oh, I hope you can see that glitter. Can you see it? Comment and tell me because Trace is not here. You can see me in the... Look at the glitter in the Black Aventurine. Decide to do the Black Aventurine handle, which is Karen, my friend Karen did that on something. Uh, it wasn't this, it was something else. And I loved the idea and just soft red inside. It's a best liner, beautiful liner, so smooth. Um... Yeah, so Karen gave me the idea of the entire brown handle. Because you know, I'm not a brown fan, but I actually really love that. I don't even mind the brown dribbles that came down from the handle. But, oh, look at the blue where they've met. That's almost like to go float. There isn't any on it, it's just where they've met. How oh, beautiful. I love the sparkles. I'd love to see that in the sun. I'll have to do a short in the sun <laughs> tomorrow because it's night time. Um, that reminds me, Karen, how many of you over the past year or so since I met Karen have been saying, is she on YouTube? We want to find her. Where is she? Tell us. She finally got herself on YouTube. Trace and I have been nagging, nagging, nagging. And she's probably going to hate that I'm saying this because she's only put up one video. Uh, so if you search bearhead pottery, one word, bearhead pottery, and two words, bearhead and pottery. You know what I mean? <laughs> uh, it will come up. I think she's got a mug as her the round circle profile picture. Like and subscribe and support her. She's new to it, of course. So uh, let's all watch her. And you know, another Aussie. And she's, oh, her, her stuff is just beautiful. She does a mixture of hand building and um, wheel thrown stuff. So yay, I was so excited when she did that. And oh, that's gorgeous. So Sarah, that is one totally inspired by you right from the start. So what else have we got in here? What's this? 
Oh, oh, that that did run. <laughs> I've to, I'm not much. I just grind that a little bit, sand it a bit. So that is the one that I did Power Turquoise and Floating Lavender, but I did one coat of each. So Power Turquoise, then Floating Lavender, then Power Turquoise, then Floating Lavender. Floating Lavender is one of the new Amico phases, phases, phase glazes, <laughs> however you say it. Oh, look at the, the turquoise coming through the purple. Oh, <laughs> I can fix it. Ah, oh, it's beautiful. I love that. So I had done something really, really similar last Kiln Unload. You can have a look, which was the teal drift, the phases glaze and the floating lavender. So I want to see it with the power turquoise. And I just noticed, look in the bottom there at that ring of purple. That's beautiful. Down the bottom. Oh, I love that too. Yay. So, again, oh, let's get out tracies because I think I can see a little. Oh, some of the underglazes come off the handle. But she can fix that. It's almost like it's crawled away. She'll have to sand it a bit, sort of bubbly raised. But how beautiful is that? Now I know she's in my head and I know if she was here, she'd be inside, she would be telling you guys, it's just my head. Um, that's wrapping paper. The things that we get inspired by, <laughs> that was wrapping paper, the pattern. And she copied it, hand drew it, and then hand painted it with underglaze. I think it's just a jet black. Um, she's just so clever. But it's funny where we get our inspiration. And yeah, look, little chips have come off. It feels bubbly, so she'll just sand and reapply a bit. That should be, and there should be fixable. But that's so cute. I love that. That reminds me, I took my husband to the hospital for x-rays and checkups. His leg is healing, and they gave him the, the good news that it is getting better. Um, but while we were sitting there for four hours, it was so boring waiting to see the doctor. I'm looking around and think, oh, that chair's really pretty. Took a photo of the chair because I like the pattern to do underglaze painting of the pattern and slip, slip trailing and stuff. So, yes, it's all I ever think about. I'll put that up there because I love the pattern on it. It's beautiful. Pottery, you know, I'm sure you guys know what I mean. Now the big bowl. Look at this, I uh, start to try oh, some different techniques. Oh, that's beautiful. It's a shame the blue came through on the middle, but it's okay. It's a band around the middle, so it's not patchy. Uh, but that's what I mean. So that's the same as that other little bowl, the turquoise and the blue, but that's with the white as well. So it's um, boring bum. <laughs> And I know why, I'll tell you why. And the blue came through. And you can see where I've carved in there the color coming through. So, actually, I, I think, I'm not 100% sure, but I think from memory that had pink and purple in it as well. And of course they've burnt off, lowering the kiln as well. But what I did with that, I've wanted to do it for ages. Uh, I did, um, I did it two kilos of white clay on the wheel, centered it, and then I got all my colors. Actually, there was now, there was purple. There wasn't any pink. There was purple as well. Purple's burnt off. I got all my colors, and each color I did about 500 grams, rolled it out into a circle, and then I laid each color on top of the two kilo white blob on my wheel, and then I threw it so that the colors were all on the outside. Well, as you can see, it's come through to the middle. And then I wanted to carve it to try and go through the colours. So it wasn't what I want, really wanted, but you can all, I don't know if you can see. Oh no, because the light's the wrong way. But I can see here, it's so close to going through where I've carved. I could actually see the light through. You can't see it there. I can only see it this way because my light's there. So I have to have a good look at that and make sure it's, it's so thin. It's almost like those, um, porcelain lights that they do on purpose, really thin and put the globe in and you can see the light through. So, to decide if I like that one. Now, this one, 
Oh, still beautiful. That is such a beautiful combo. And that's the storm rainforest combination that I did on that noodle bowl and it sold first market. Well, I thought I'm gonna do it on a mug. So I'd carved this mug and I thought, oh, what can I put on it? Celadons, how boring, it's deep carving, it could take more glaze. So I did the storm seaweed and that's perfect for that. I even did it inside because I didn't want plain storm inside. So I even did the storm seaweed inside. Oh, that's beautiful. I hope I can get that in photos because that's gorgeous. Absolutely glorious. What? It looks a bit dark at the markets under the marquee. Now this one, I'm scared to see this one. Oh, wow! Wow, yay! Don't know why, but that just made me think of um, Ceramics by Julia, the, the Union Jack flag. <laughs> England almost. Wow. So that is snow inside. That's easy. Uh, rainforest snow on the bottom. So what I did was I tape resisted the whole thing on bare clay. Did rainforest all over times three. Tape resisted the handle. Took all the tape off and then I did snow over the whole thing so that this was not bare clay. This was snow as well. The lines snow over the whole thing times four which was accidental but good i wanted i kind of couldn't decide and instead of doing the third coat inside i did it outside by mistake and they're like oh well meant to be four then did the third inside still but wow i love that oh that is so effective and I kind of didn't mind if it moved a bit which it hasn't really this is just where it bled under the tape I love the handle where it's swirled around and under and then just snow. I was really conflicted on whether to do rainforest inside, but I'm glad I didn't. I love that. Rainforest snow on the bum because again, I didn't just want the stark green when I had the rainforest snow um, all over it. Wow, that's beautiful. Oh, I love that. I think that will be eye catching at the markets. Gorgeous. Alright, last shelf. Oh, this is my peacock bowl. This is a brand new peacock that not many people would have done yet. I'm not saying nobody, because never say nobody. I'm sure somebody's done it. Using the phases, glazes. The Amico phases, glazes. Oh, again, I don't want to look. Oh, oh my god, it's <laughs> oh, that's so matchy, but that's run everywhere. So I have to hopefully get that off. I can do it again. I can do it again if I can't get it off. For the um, honey flux, river birch, light flux. Um, yeah, that's a shame because the other one hadn't run. That one ran everywhere. Oh, wow. get it out oh that one ran everywhere too oh we'll have to do that one again so that was the power turquoise floating lavender look at how much that's chunked which is why I say I'll have to do that again I can't clean that up but that's okay I've got the big bowl part again it's beautiful you can see the purple oh the floating lavender and the um Oh, turquoise playing so nicely together. Ah, um, oh, this one hasn't run. Oh, yay, I've got one set. So that's the um, kimchi, power turquoise with kimchi over. A little matching. I'm just stunned by that. If others can tell me if they've done it as well. I thought I was going to get so much more pink. I mean, the, the power turquoise is over the whole thing, which is what I wanted. So if I had gone halfway with a power turquoise and just overlap, that could be really pretty too. Might have to try that. All right, I gotta get it out. Oh, I don't want it because it's so pretty. It's 
so light. I wish Trace was here to feel how light it is. <gasps> Yay! So that outside's easy. Two honey flaps, one river birch. No light flaps on the outside. Then the inside, and I even took photos, which I never normally do. Two honey flux, one river birch. Did that by mistake. I should have kept the river birch and done it over the top of the whole thing. Then I did Vs instead of Ws, which is why you've got more of the points to the runs. I did Vs of light flux. Then I did all four. So I did the night rain is the top. Then I did, oh, I don't want to drop it. Night rain, teal drift, floating lavender and... Uh, Luna pink so one two three four colors the four the four um, new phases glazes then I did I had run out of honey flux how do you run out of honey flux so I did over the top of the whole thing I didn't want more brown so I didn't want to put river batch so I used um, flux blossom which is that soft pink one and I thought oh, it'll be fine and it is fine I don't think you can even see it. I don't know because I don't know what it will look like without, but it may have muted that a bit, which I love. That's great. Oh, wow. Which one will be the thumbnail? You guys already know. <laughs> Maybe I'll try and squash them both next to each other. Oh, I think it might almost have to be that one. I don't know. How would I pick them? That's glorious. Oh, I'm so happy with that. Yay, yay. So, kiln favourite. That is my kiln favourite. But, also because it's, that's not wobbly, that's the cookie. Also because it's so light. But this one, I need to re-show this one. They're both equal kiln favourites because, wow. For a first attempt on that frozen pond, I'm so happy with that as well. Oh, beautiful. So that was the one I can't remember what she called it now, but I think it was um, Ceramics by Julia. And I said, oh, when I do my kiln unload, I'm gonna have to call it Portuguese, Portuguese salad bowl, which is this wider shape, apparently never heard of one before. So I said, oh, I'm gonna call mine that too. <laughs> so I think it was, or whoever it was, I'm sorry, I didn't write it down, but gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. So that's it. So hopefully next Kiln Unload Trace will be here. Might even have to do our live. I don't know. It's a bit hard to work it all out. Um, but that is it. Thank you very much for joining. Stay muddy and have a magic day. Bye.